Two team, keep it clean. We back, man. It's NFL Week One, and this this was a good game. It looked like the Bills were gonna be running the show, even though they weren't like blowing out the Steelers or anything. I think their largest lead was like 10-0, but it looked like they had firm control of the game because with the Bills, it's like they early on in the game, especially in the first half. Josh Allen, he was taking some deep shots. His receivers were getting separation. But he would just overthrow a bit. There were some receivers that were dropping the ball. I know Cole Beasley, he had a couple drops early. Gabe Davis, he had a drop. Um, but they their offense was just, they kept missing. It's like Steelers were giving it to him, but they just kept missing. And they missed enough times, and they let Pittsburgh hang around. They let him hang around, and this was just, it was a really close battle throughout. Now, in the first half for the Steelers, they it was just looking rough for Big Ben. It, he he wasn't looking washed like everybody been saying, but he was just looking like he was just a, a tad bit off. Now, I, I believe their offensive coordinator is Canada. I want to say Matt Canada, but I'm not 100% sure of his first name. But the Steelers offense, it looked very similar to last year, in my opinion. Uh, a lot of the same super short passes and hope that the receiver get a bunch of yak. Early on, it wasn't really working too much, uh, but in the second half, it picked up a little bit. Um, and, and then just a lack of the run game, too. Najee Harris, first round draft pick. What was he, 24 overall in the first round, I think? But early on, he wasn't doing much of anything. But that's where these two teams, they're very similar. They are extremely similar to one another because the Bills, they throw, 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 throw. Oh, yeah, then we'll get in a run here. The Steelers, they throw, 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 throw. Ah, yeah, we'll sneak in a little run here. And then both teams, they play good defense. And they obviously were playing good defense because it was such a low-scoring game uh, for the majority. And, I mean, overall, the score was, what, 23-16, I think. Um, then Joe Hayden ended up getting the uh, recovering the, um, the onside kick. And a lot of Bills fans and some Steelers fans, too, they had left. They were like, you know what, this is over. The camera was showing so many people just leave the stadium. But anyway, uh, in the second half, the second half, uh, stuff picked up a, a bit more so for Pittsburgh and a little bit for the, for the Bills, too, but obviously not enough. Um, early on in the first half, and I know we bouncing back and forth, but early on in the first half, there was two fourth downs where Josh Allen was like, I want to go for it, I want to go for it, I want to go for it. But head coach said no. Head coach said nope. McDermott was like, nah, we good. Uh, nah, let's just kick a field goal. Um, but then on that fourth down that they went for it in the second half, where they just like, it seemed like they were like almost overthinking the fourth down. And they just tried to get cute with it, tried to get fancy, and it just it, it ended up being disgusting. Um, there was some close would-be interceptions uh, really from both quarterbacks, from both quarterbacks. There was one, this is how you can tell the difference between a, a veteran. They said Ben Roethlisberger been around 18 years. That's crazy. But you can tell the difference between a veteran and a, and a very young quarterback, Josh Allen going into his fourth year. Uh, there was a play, Ben Roethlisberger threw it up. A lot of people thinking, why would he throw that? And Tredavious White picked it off. It's like, oh, interception. But that's where that knowledge of the game comes in because he knew that there was already a holding call in place. So he was like, you know what? What's the worst that could happen? If I throw a pick, oh, well, it's not going to count anyway. Let me try it. And then with Josh Allen, something that I saw at the very end of the game, I don't know if y'all caught it too, but toward the very end of the game, when they were, it was right before the two-minute warning. So they were trying to move the ball downfield, obviously, to try to get a comeback. But right before the two-minute warning, they had, Josh Allen had thrown a completion, I forgot who it was to, so the clock kept going, and he just looked unsure, he looked like he wanted to try to spike it, but he looked unsure, and he hesitated, and since he was hesitant, then that, the clock kept rolling, so the whole offense, they were all hesitant too, and they just, it, they looked out of sync, and then they ended up snapping the ball, but it was well after the, the two minute warning. Um, this is, y'all got to remember, whether you're a Steelers fan, whether you're a Bills fan, it's week one. For Steelers, this does not mean they are the best team in the league. They got one of the best records in the league, though. Um, and for Bills fans, it does not mean, oh, the season is over, we suck, da, da, da. No, it doesn't mean that. It's, it's one week. It's one week. 
Both teams, they, they got some stuff they just need to fine tune, and they'll be just fine. TJ Watt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they showed him the money, and he showed them why they showed him the money. TJ Watt is nice like, nice like that, man. I know they say for every play, you heard the saying plenty of times before, for every play, they, they could call holding on every play if they wanted to. But there was one play, it was in the first half, where they could have called tackling. And, uh, well, you're supposed to tackle the NFL, right? Yes, but if you're offensive lineman, you shouldn't be tackling anybody. And they tackled TJ. They literally tackled this guy. He was getting pressure literally like all game long. I would see number 90 back there a lot. I would see them double teaming TJ Watt a lot. Sometimes even triple to, but they, he is a force, man. And he was arguably, uh, well, he was obviously um, in the rankings for defensive player of the year last year between him and Aaron Donald. Um, and you couldn't be mad if he would have won the award. But he started off this year with a bang two. And something that helped him, and hopefully he's not hurt too serious or anything like that, Melvin Ingram. When the Steelers lost Bud Dupree, a lot of people wondered, okay, how's that going to affect T.J. Watt? But then late in the offseason, Melvin Ingram, he had been working out, showing people, hey, I'm healthy. I, I got it. Where am I going to sign? Ended up signing with the Steelers, and his first game, he made some noise. Um, and, and there was the play where he, he came, he was coming off the field. No, he was running onto the field, but it was offsides on him while he was running on the field. He was on Buffalo's side of the ball. Uh, and then that same play, he got pressure on Josh Allen and hit him, but his helmet came off and I don't think his head hit the turf, but he just landed awkwardly. And then he just ran off, ran off to the sideline. So hopefully it ain't anything serious. Um, my favorite play from this game came from, uh, Cam Sutton. Number 20, cornerback from the Steelers. Fitzpatrick was nice in this game, too. He, he, he wasn't messing around. I mean, we already knew he was a nice safety, but, yeah, he was nice. because He's a corner slash safety, just defense, and he's nice. Anyway, um, it was in the first half. The Bills, Josh Allen snapped it, um, and then he, no, yeah, they snapped the ball. He handed it off to the running back. Then the running back pitched it back to him. They did a flea flicker. Josh Allen threw that ball. Sutton said, what the hell? You thought y'all were going to get me with the flea flip? <laughs> Knocked it away. And that's what Steelers corners were doing for a large part of the game, just knocking stuff away. We saw so many passes go flying up in the air from getting tipped. Thought they were going to be picked off, but they weren't. Um, so Steelers, that, that defense, they and that's what they've been known for too. Steelers have been known for the longest for having a good defense um, and an, an offense that is very... Uh, What's the good way to describe them? It's tough. Very tough. Um, I can't even think of a word to describe Steelers offense, what, what they are. Because I, I, I don't even know exactly what they are. Because they're not an offense that's going to light it up every single week. Um, but they do make their plays. And they made enough plays in this one to where they ended up closing it out. Uh, ben Roethlisberger ended up coming up clutch on that last drive uh, where they ended up getting the field goal that really... Put them, uh, put the game away, uh, and yeah, they did their thing, man. They did their thing. Something about the Bills now, and, and I know me being a Ravens fan. Trust me, I remember it from that playoff game last year where the Bills beat us seventeen to three. It was painful, but something that I remember, they just they were just in that playoff game. They were pass, 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 pass. That's it. They run the ball like an easy, teensy, wincy little bit. But in this game, again, like I said earlier, Steelers and, and Bills, their game plans are very similar. But with the Steelers, they, they mixed it up earlier when it came to passing and running. They obviously passed a lot more than run, ran, but they mixed it up a lot sooner than the Bills did. But the Bills, they pass, 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 first quarter, second quarter, third quarter. Then in the fourth quarter, when you're trying to come back, that's when they started running the ball. So it's like they, they flipped the script. For for what's what what the norm is because normally teams will they run the ball they'll incorporate the passing in it too but they might be run heavy early on but if you got to come back you passing all over the field but but Bills they completely turned it around um, but that's how they do they their game is not that the run game is not their thing and again that's for both of these teams um, the offensive line now I was gonna say the offensive line for both of these teams have to, has to improve but at the same time. Both teams were going up against really good defensive lines. Cam, Hay Cam Haywood, we talked about T.J. Watt already, how he earned his money, he deserves his money. I don't know what Cam Haywood is getting paid, but he needs a raise. He needs a raise. They need to throw some 
in-game roster bonuses in his contract, something that dude needs a raise. And trust me, yeah, I got experience watching Cam Hayward being a Ravens fan. Um, but yeah, he however much money he's making, it needs to be needs to go through the roof. Um, but yeah, that was it. This was a really good game, man. Really good way to start off uh, week one. Um, it again, I, I was just surprised how it went. It just momentum completely shifted from jump, literally from the first play of the game, that kickoff return. Bills were just hype, but then the Steelers held them to a field goal, and that was huge. That was so huge because momentum was all on the Bills' side. Everybody hyped. The place going crazy. The, the crowd is wild, but the Steelers held them to three. And that's so big, especially for just the psyche of the game, the mental part of the game, especially more so for, well, actually for both, for both Pittsburgh, because that could give them a boost of confidence. Like, yeah, they got this, what, 75-yard kick return. They got into the red zone, but we held them to a field goal. And then that could mess the Bills up. Could be like, oh, we got the 75-yard kick return, but they held us to a field goal. So it goes both ways, the mental part of football. Um, but, yeah, this was a just really, really fun game. Another nice play was from Chase Claypool, who early on, it was a bit quiet. Uh, and Juju, too, he was a bit quiet. Deontay Johnson had a fire touchdown catch where he tipped it up, but then he caught it, and he got both feet down. So shout out to concentration. Um, but with Chase Claypool, I think he mossed like this. Ben Roethlisberger threw it up, and it was looking like, oh, okay, it might go out of bounds. And Chase Claypool said, no. That, that, you think that's going out of bounds? No, not on my watch. And this dude jumped, elevated, <laughs> Moss, uh Tredavious White. Who is one of the best cornerbacks in the league? Um, so, and, and that's that's it happens. It happens. A corner is not going to stop every single play, every single wide receiver. It's part of the game. You're going to win some. You're going to lose some. And for the Bills, unfortunately for them, this game they lost some. Uh, so again, it's one game. It's, it's the very first game of the season. Got 16 games left. Because remember, we got a 17 game schedule this year. Anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Shout out to y'all Steelers. Congrats on the win. Shout out to the Bills too. Because again, the, the season is not over. It's just getting started. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all watching. We out.